my silence I can hear you But I'm afraid to be near you And I don't know Where to begin And I don't know Where to begin Somewhere in the desert There's a forest And an acre before us But I don't know Where to begin But I don't know Where to begin Again I lost my strength completely Oh be near me Tired old mare With the wind in your hair What is this planet? I don't know, we've never been here before. Maybe we're on the edge of the universe. Hey, cool, let's see if we can find some aliens. Hey, the ground is moving. The planet's gonna eat us. We have to get back to the ship right now. Then let's get the heck out of here. Oh no, the control panel's not working. We're stuck in the middle of nowhere. Hold on, let me just give you a hand. It's just me, Captain Spirit, who can bend all matter to his will. I did it. I still got the power. Now I just need to make a cool costume for Captain Spirit. Gotta have a cool cape to fly. Good thing I have one. Mask or no mask? Secret identity or not? Hmm. Yep, looks cool so far. Let's see. What about the armor? Oh, cool. Should he be dark or colorful? Beware, Mantroid. Watch out. Captain Spirit is ready for battle. Hello, Saturday morning. I can do anything I want today. do a training session with my power. Are you ready for the ultimate battle of good versus evil? You 
you can't win this battle, Noctarius? It's already over, Power Bear. Cool. Ah. Cool. Don't let Mantroid control you. Nobody controls me. Mantroid is my leader, and he wants you to die. <laughs> Give up now. We don't have to fight. You're not the boss of me, Power Bear. You have amazing powers. Why don't you join our team? Join Captain Spirit? Are you serious? He's my enemy. Only because Mantroid brainwashed you. You can help the world with us. Liar. Where were you and Captain Spirit when Mantroid saved my life? Huh? Good guy? I'm sorry, Noctarius. We want to be there for everybody. You're the enemy. Now take this. Oh, my back. How? How did you do this? I can't move. Captain Spirit, Captain Spirit, please come to my aid. I can't defeat Noctarius on my own. I can't. Captain Spirit! Release him, Power Bear. Oh, yeah. Captain Spirit's got your back, loser. He decided to spare you. That's a real hero. Now go back to your master. Me and Troy will get his revenge. For me! <sighs> Thank you for keeping me from the dark side, Captain. Chris, breakfast. Okay, Dad. Only my brain waves can activate the monitor. This is Chris to the Flying Fortress. Come in, come in. Roger, I'm here. I hope so, Sky Pirate. What do you see up there? Have you spotted Snowmancer? Not yet. It's hard because of the storm. This is perfect cover for a Snowmancer sneak attack. Eye sharp. Keep me posted. Yes, sir. Roger that. Thanks, Sky Pirate. Over and out. I know you're out there, Snowmancer. Chris, I need now. Give me one second. Your time is up. I can feel the energy flow through me. I have the power. Okay, that's a good start. But now it's time to build the rest of my costume. Next time I tell you to come, don't ignore me. But I... Don't. This isn't a hotel, buddy. I got things to do. Pour yourself some milk.
Breakfast of Champions. <sighs> What'd you expect, a waffle? It's good. Oh, you can lie better than that. Dad, I'm not lying. It's just the eggs are good. Listen, buddy, you won't hurt my feelings if you don't love my eggs. I know this doesn't compare to your mother's breakfast. You know what? I'm gonna watch some cooking shows and learn how to be a super breakfast chef. And you could be my official food taster. Deal? Yeah. Okay. You're drinking beer before you eat? Well, yeah, it's game day. Dads are allowed to drink early. Hey, I don't need a lecture from my son. Thanks. I, I don't drink that much. I mean, what am I supposed to do in this fucking town? Go to church like all these assholes? Sorry. Don't swear, okay? I don't. Superheroes don't swear. <laughs> Looks like I'm off the team. Nah. You're cool. Like a rebel. Hey, is your, uh, your arm okay? Looks better. Anybody uh, ask you about it or uh, say anything at all? Well, it kind of hurts a little. Really? I, I can give you an ice pack and maybe one of my pills. No pain and no swelling. It makes me sad that I, that, that you got hurt. It's not that bad, I'm fine. Okay, okay. Won't bother you anymore. So, so you must be excited for Christmas. I'm always excited for Christmas. Hint, hint. I was hoping Santa might maybe get me a new console since mine is broken. Then Santa needs to get me a new job. It has to be a console. A basketball costs 10 bucks. Okay. Oh, since it's Saturday, are we gonna get a Christmas tree? You said we could get a real pine. Yes, I did, and yes, we are. But I just wanna watch the game before we go, okay? But you always fall asleep. <laughs> I won't today. And if I do, just wake me up and we'll go. Promise. Okay. You promise? I do. Now go take advantage of your weekend. Perfect weather outside for you to play. Whatever. You're free. Come grab me later. Okay, what would Captain Spirit do?
Those dishes definitely need a mega clean. Oh man, this is cold. I might have to check out the water eater. I've never seen a beaver around here. Ooh, Dad's going shopping. Let's see, what do we need? Chris, these are the most important numbers for you on this list. Oh yeah, uh-huh. Cool story, Dad. There's my hot dog man. I can't see Dad selling homes. Whoa. Is he getting us tickets again? Best dad ever. That would be a blast being a freight hopper. Choo choo. Oh, those are dad's pages. Grandma and Grandpa are so cool, but no way I'm ever leaving Dad. Are you serious? You shoot better than that guy any day. Ew, these clothes even smell dirty. Now you will learn your lesson and stay clean. God damn, you're on fire. I hope I set this right. Oh, that's nice, Chris. You're better than a housekeeper. Just don't ask for a raise. Boring. What is this? Open your goddamn eyes! Those are goddamn cans! You sticky beer cans. The beer can monster cannot be. Seriously? Oh God, I hate going in there.
coming out a little bit. Here, I have to face this monster. The city needs hot water. You can do it, Captain Spirit. Well, that wasn't too hard. I've tamed the water beast. Dad doesn't want a set of Christmas decorations yet. Makes him think I'm up. Hey, Dad. The water heater was down again, so I fixed it. Wow, you put it back on? Congrats, buddy. I know you hate getting in there. I wonder why Dad never hangs out with Nick anymore. I wish I could have gone on a hike with Mom. This has to be Mom's. She liked art. Hmm, let's check this out. Ooh, that looks scary. I should read that. Sorry, Pop, it's war. Oh, cheap shot. I'm going down. You can't kill the zombie jock. No way. That was a headshot. I am a super zombie. Well, I'm a superhero. Can't argue with that. Zombie down. Captain Spirit strikes back. Oh yeah, that's how you dominate. That's it. And that is how you shoot the ball. If I could go back in time, I'd go see him play. He looks so different in his basketball outfit. On fire all night. Dad was so popular. Dad never smiles like that anymore. God damn, you're on fire. That was a fun birthday party at Pizza Arcade. I hope it'll be cool next year. Dad took away my firecrackers when I blew up the garbage can last year. Hmm. I wonder where he hit them. This isn't greedy, right, Santa? 
Plus, Dad will love that I want basketball lessons. At least the forest warrior protect me from the snow ghost. Hey, can you get that? Uh, hello? Good morning, sir. How are you this glorious day? Um, okay. Hey, who is that? Who keeps calling? I don't know. Uh, who is this? Thank you for asking, young man. My name is Derek, and I'm a proud member of the Universal Uprising Church. I'd love to tell you and your family about Jesus, our righteous Lord and Savior. Our church just wants you and your loved ones to share the Holy Spirit. Spirit? Um, we're just watching the game. Well, always remember that our Lord is watching out for you. By the way, is your mother or father available to speak? Well, I have to ask first. Chris, who the hell are you talking to? Nobody, Dad. Jesus is... Chocolate. Thanks, Claire. Jeez, good job, chocolate hog. I could take over the town with this army. Or the world. No, no, no! I stole the ball from that piece of shit! No superhero should wear those, but they're so comfy. Hmm, this is a perfect day to watch Frozen. Last time Dad told me not to sing along so loud. Hey Spider Baby, I think you caught your lunch in your web. And there's a snail moving so fast, he's in one place. <laughs> I miss playing ball with my friends before we moved. Mom bought me so many cool comic books. She told me never throw them away. I won't. It is time for my secret tattoo. Only my team will know what it means. I can take the pain. At least I don't have to use any needles. Watch out, supervillains. Today I make my own superhero costume. Man, I wanted to go to that. But Dad had to watch the playoffs. Every superhero team needs a supervillain team. I'm so glad I did my English homework already. Miss Stroud's pretty nice, and she likes my stories. The secret treasure is buried out there in the wild. Now, I have to locate the second part of the map. Sorry, you're too cute to fight evil. I hope I can draw as good as mom someday. <sighs> uh, 
Air ball. I should ask Dad to show me again. Ooh, the shark stinger is looking for victims. Look out! Here comes the evil car! That pedestrian better get out of the way. That was your last ride, Shark Stinger. Yes, Captain Spirit saved us. You'll never run over anybody again. I've read this one so many times. I miss Hal. He feels like he's so far away, even though he lives on the other side of town. Now I can use that makeup from Halloween. No one will guess my secret identity now. One more piece and I'm almost done. I wonder when I can start to shave. Do superheroes shave? Welcome to WHERO. Today we are honored to have an interview with the world's most awesome superhero, Captain Spirit. Hello, Beaver Creek. Captain Spirit, when do you think you will defeat Mantroid? Mantroid is a bully and a coward. He can't hide, but he can run. We heard reports that he is putting together a team of supervillains. Do you have any message for them? We will forgive them if they don't join Mantroid. He's not worth it. We have to live in peace, or you will destroy them. That's my job, and that's why we love you. Can you tell us who your superheroes are? My parents are my biggest heroes. I bet they're happy to hear that. Can you give us a hint about how you discovered your epic powers? No. Okay, do you have any final words for your audience? Be nice and always fight for the good team. Thank you, Captain Spirit, for being our hero. And now back to W-H-E-R-O News. I can't believe Dad let me put these stickers here. Maybe he likes them too. I never get tired of Hot Dog Man. Never. Man, I love this issue. Wish I could draw like this. No diving today, Nemo.
Goodbye, log. No, burn. Burn! <sighs> Dinosaur Land is open for business. Eat everybody! I am more T-Rex, and you are my lunch. Roar! Hmm, I don't think Dad reads these. I think he just takes them from work. Are you kidding me, ref? That guy fucking carried it! They dropped this guy and not me? I could run circles around that guy. Yes, hell of a dunk. Extra bonus points unlocked. It's not safe out there. Yeah, Dad. I know. I can't go anywhere without the keys. It's 
sucks we don't use this landing bay much. It's so cool. Seek the magic key to unlock the portal to another dimension. Demon is rising. I can't find Snowmancer looking like this. No fair. The fortress looks safe since we last talked. Sky Pirate, what's the situation since your last report? Did the storm cause any damage? No, Captain. The magnetic field protected us from any harm. We're lucky to have you. Keep up your good work. Dad keeps telling me this is a girl's doll. So what? She's the ice queen. That's Noctarius' son. He looks like his dad. I had to rescue my old cereal bowl after Dad used it for an ashtray. Gross. I can't let Dad find my secret stash. Ever. <laughs> Open sesame. I loved watching Mom draw her comics.
Harry did say mean things about Dad, but I can't let him see this. This is my worst report card. I'm doing better now. These are my favorite baseball players, even if I don't understand the stats. Maybe I can use this to read the map. Now I can use this to reveal the full map to my next adventure. This part of Beaver Creek is so different from where we lived before. Time for Captain Spear to put these pieces together. Hmm, I have to place it right. The treasure map is not secret anymore, it's mine. Captain Spear doesn't need weapons, but just in case. Oh, I hate seeing him like this. I'm too old to be measured now, right? Locked. 
I wonder what Dad keeps in here.
That's scary. So we moved because dad couldn't pay for the house? That sucks. Dad got fired? That's when he started working for the railroad. Mm. Dad never told me he had a new friend. I've never seen Dad get that mad. It really scares me. Oh, I hate seeing him like this. Okay, you guys can't hide from me. Why does he drink that if it just makes him mad? Dad loves his stat notebooks. Ugh, I hate that beer can smell. Nothing can escape the deadly aim of the beer hunter. Now I have the map to the maze of doom.
The treasure map is not secret anymore. It's mine. Dude, the freaking key should be inside the house. Light on. Now I must explore without being discovered. I've never seen Dad get that mad. It really scares me.
Zap! The awful green things are flushed into space.
no snowmancer. This is sad. You used to be a good enemy. Look at you now. How are you supposed to train me to fight Mandroid like that? What can we do? That noise. Dad never threw away Mom's hiking boots. Good. This is where Mom went to school before we came here. Mom didn't go to art school because of me, but she was already an amazing artist. Oh, wow. I remember when Mom drew that, and Dad couldn't stop laughing. I don't get this one. I'm too young. Mom and Dad always talked about how they met at school. Now I can color Captain Spirit just like my drawing. It's actually Captain Spirit to the rescue. And it's time to visit Mantroid's home planet for a change. Dad doesn't get in trouble because of me. Here I come, Mantroid. Come on, let's get going. This is Captain Spirit, you copy. Are you there, Sky Pirate? Captain Spirit, I read you loud and clear. Are you sure you want to go on this dangerous mission? 
Don't worry about me. Mantroid is the one in danger. Gotta do a quick system check first. Instrument panel, check. Force field, check. Proton missiles, check. Skate pod, check. Windshield wipers, check. Everything looks good. Start the launch. We're going faster than light speed. What's that ahead? Oh no, meteor shower. Turn on the force field. Too late. Emergency. That's a last crash landing. Ah! I wonder how many ships Mantroid has crashed on this planet. Never mind. I landed safe. Time to explore! The planet is so dark, and the sky is so red, like blood. No wonder man Troyd lives here. But how could anyone live here? It's kind of sad and lonely. What's that sound? Something is coming, or somebody. Man, Troy, show yourself, you coward! Get away from me. <laughs> I don't have to get away because I'm everywhere. Fight me instead of hiding. You will pay for what you did, Mantroid, I swear.
Dad, you, you sleeping? Hey, wake up. Dad, come on. Huh? What? Who's there? Who's that? Dad, it, it's just me, Chris. Whoa, whoa. Hold on, buddy, okay? Jesus. Uh... Dad! Uh... Uh... Fuck! Dad, are you okay? Do I look okay? No. I tripped. Can't even watch one goddamn game. Fuck! Uh, that's just great. Oh, I think I sprained my foot. Shit. Chris, why did you wake me up? You, you told me to wake you up. I thought... I thought you said the pine tree. <sighs> pine tree? I can't even walk in my own house, man. You should be careful when you're... You know, when you wake up. Don't be a smart ass, Chris. I'm not in the mood right now. Yeah, Dad. Okay. Jesus Christ, who is that? Go answer. If it's some salesperson or some church group, you just close the door on them. It's nobody's business. This is our castle, and it's our family. Right? Right. Oh my, look at you. What kind of costume is that? I'm Captain Spirit. Of course you are. We need all the superheroes we can get. And how are you doing, Chris? Good, Mrs. Reynolds. Just... just... Just? Just hanging out playing video games. You boys and your video games. You should play games outside like we used to. Like your dad used to. Oh, I know, I know. I'm old. But I did see you clearing that snow off the front porch. So good of you. Actually, I was going for a nice walk and I thought I heard a loud noise over here. Is everything okay? Yeah, of course. We didn't hear a noise. Are you sure? Lordy, I thought, I don't know, but it was loud. And there's no other houses around. You probably heard me and my dad watching the game. We kind of go crazy, so. Hmm. You're not the only one. I must be hearing things. I hope you have something else planned for today. Oh yeah, me and my dad are gonna go buy a real pine Christmas tree. Oh, that sounds like fun. Stephen and I better get one so we can start decorating. Oh, I love this time of year. Me too. And dad said we could get the best Christmas tree on the lot. You certainly deserve the best Christmas tree. And if you need any extra decorations, we have a surplus. Ooh, that would be awesome. Well, I'm glad to see you're taking care of your father. Of course. We're both on the same team. You're a good son, Chris. Listen, Chris. I'm only steps away from your house. If you ever feel scared, you can come visit us anytime, day or night. Understand? We're here for you. Okay. Sure. Thanks. Thanks, Claire. I promise I'll see you later.
So what did that nosy bitch want? N- nothing. Oh, nothing, huh? I was listening. I heard it all. You could have gotten rid of her. I tried. Man, I bet you want to tell her what a shitty dad you have. Huh? No, she just wanted to say hi. I didn't say anything, Dad. I swear. Dad, please believe me. Jesus, stop that whining. You're not a baby anymore. Oh, boo-hoo, Daddy. Believe me. Grow up. But I... You're just... Just like your mom. Every time I look at you, I tell me you talk. Stop it. Just, I see your face. Why? And if it wasn't for you, she would have never taken the car that day. Never. Oh, hey, Chris, look, hey, I didn't mean that, buddy. Yes! Yes, you did! No, listen, Chris! 